Sales that were up almost 60% from the previous week, along with a flash sale of soybean cake to the Philippines. But they weren't enough to pull beans up on Thursday. Michelle Rook dives into the markets and markets now. Greens ending mixed on Thursday with row crops lower wheat to the plus side. Arlen Suderman with Stone X is joining us. Arlen, let's talk about soybeans first off, new lows for the move. Boy, we've just been continuing to see what South American hedge pressure. Yeah, we have. You look at Brazil and they're expected to export uh, over a half billion bushels of soybeans this month alone. So the flow of soybeans coming out of Brazil is as strong as ever right now. And uh, we're feeling that pressure of, of the farmer letting go of the soybeans, moving to the reseller, moving to the exporter, and, and then moving out to the ocean to China and other places. It's been hurting our business. It's slowing our export sales. We did see some export sales this morning to China, but it was primarily stuff that had already been sold to uh, unknown destinations, and they simply changed the shipping address on it to China. And corn and soybeans kind of uh, went down together and we're down testing some pretty key areas here. Do you think we're going to go back and take out those contract lows in soybeans or not? Yeah, that's a concern. Those late February lows have, have been an area where we bounced off of. And can we hold that? Uh, when we look at the lead make contract, we're just a few cents away from it now on the continuation charts. We're a little bit further away, about 15 or 20 cents away. Uh, but the charts are looking like we want to go back and test those areas and will they hold? A lot of times double bottoms do not hold, excuse me, do, double bottoms do hold. But if we bounce and then try it again, at triple bottoms oftentimes do not hold. So we need to be able to hold that level of support if we're going to be able to bounce off of this. The problem is we just don't have a story right now. We're getting good rains across the Midwest to help fill the soil profile. We still do have some dry areas, but overall, the market is assuming we've got a good crop coming. Wheat market was able to bounce despite some China export cancellations. Why? Uh, we've got some dryness in the plains. We've been having dust storms, and Kansas has been missing out on those rains. Kansas, eastern Colorado, parts of Oklahoma and Texas, and that's providing support. Not enough to sustain a rally, but it certainly gets bought on the dips. Okay, thanks for joining us. That's Erlen Suderman with Stone X. We'll have more Ag Day coming up. Contact Arlen Suderman by email at arlen.suderman at stonex.com.